Western Uganda is one of the four regions in Uganda and it's a hidden. Our eyes are closed when Whoa. we start this loop. Look at that. Elephant oh, right behind me, man. This is so cool, man. A region filled with green, beautiful landscape, lakes, wildlife, and it's also the home of half of the world's mountain gorillas. Time goes fast, but yet so slow. Oh my god, no, that's a gorilla. Yes. You see that? Yes. That's it, that's it. In this episode, I'll be going to have a conversation with my long lost big cousin living inside windy, impenetrable forest. It also has another name which is called the place of darkness due to its dense tree tops. So easy to be. is the best teacher ever. I mean, traveling is the best teacher ever. I mean, I've been to Rwanda and when we started driving here, I asked the driver, why do we feel like we're in Rwanda? And he's like, hey, we're just 15 kilometers away from Rwanda. So where we are is called Kapale. And you see this road right in front of me? If you drive 15 kilometers straight, you'll be in Rwanda, which is incredible, man. This is what I've been saying. Africans are just one people and it's about time we clear all these borders so that we all can live together, one harmony and just enjoy ourselves as Africans. But at the end of the day, we have a border that says that this is Uganda and that place is um, Rwanda. This district or town that we are is known for mountain gorillas. That's how you see gorillas, sculptures everywhere we go to. Uh, the reason why you saw those the, the, the statues for the gorillas mm -hmm. on that roundabout, mm -hmm. each represent one country. Okay. The one this side represents Uganda, the one on your right represents Rwanda, and on the left represents Kong. Because that's where you find the gorillas here in East Africa. I know these gorillas don't pay mind to political borders. Definitely, they go to various countries without a passport. And I know and believe that someday, Humans living in this place will live the same way. Oh, yeah. we, we, we are going to um, trek to yeah. see gorillas, right? Yeah. How far are we from where we're going? Yeah, it's 94 kilometers, but it will take us around three hours because of the road. <coughs> yes. Three hours because of the road? Yeah. Whoa. Anyway, let's go. It's an adventure and we have to go. Hi, um, we are about to start the whole journey. I mean like we've been on the road for the past eight hours. Hi! And um, this is actually the route that leads you to the gorilla trekking. But I've seen maze. And you know, like a village boy like me, wherever I go, ha, what's up? Why are you chasing me? Ha! I need maze. I need maze on fire. Hi. Okay. What? How are you? Fine, and you? Good. Two thousand. Two thousand? Yes. How? This one? Yes. <laughs> Two thousand this? I, I, I'll give you ten thousand. Ten thousand? Yeah, I'll give you ten thousand. Don't worry. Two thousand. 2,000? Yes. Okay. One piece. One piece? Yes. This is like 500. You want to give me 2,000? No, 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 no. But I'll no, give you 10,000. No, 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 Don't worry. No, no, no. It's raining. I'm trying to get some maize, but to saw that I don't speak the language. It's like 2,000, 2,000. Come on. Hi. Do I have money? <laughs> Let me just give them money. With me, otherwise, this people would not take my thousand. That's the only money I have. <laughs> Hi, I don't have two thousand. It's ready. Yes, can I think? 
You don't have to. Ah, a thousand, thousand, what? One thousand. One thousand. Get it. Huh? Your money. My money? This is two thousand. Yes. She's lying! She's lying! I'm not lying! You're lying! No. This is thousand! Hey! Thousand or two thousand? Thousand! You see the people are saying thousand. You give me give me the change. I wanna give the money to them. Hey, to Yeah. Give, give, give me! Give me! Hi! <laughs> come, come, come! I give you money because you give me my money. I should wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Give me money. Yeah, thank you. He give you another one. Come. Hi. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You, you, you go. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. I'm I got my card. I hope I don't fall, man. Woo! 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 Oh my god. That was so cool. To be honest, we're driving through mountains and it's extremely scary. It's really scary because the road is tiny and the driver has to be careful so that we don't just roll, roll, roll our boards. Turn to the... Shoo, look at that! So that's a park now, it's a boundary, the boundary. The park boundary. Oh. Community and the community park boundary. Wow! Oh! The boundary? Yeah, the boundary of the park and the community land. So you can find a parallel lesson there? Uh, they're a bit yeah. inside there. Wow! But during COVID, some of them moved closer. I guess they were missing the human, the human beings. Oh, that's the boundary. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Been, we've been driving in the Orion Forest for like three to four hours and we just got here like 8.50. That's crazy, man. I'm so tired, man. I'm sad. So exhausted. I don't even want to say anything. Just want to eat and go and sleep and go trek tomorrow. Good morning from the beautiful Ride for a Woman Resort located right here in Buindi purposely to empower domestic abuse women. I had a really great time but hey today is the day the Lord has made and it's about time for me to see my big cousin living in Buindi Impenetrable National Park. You know what I'm super excited because I can't wait to shake hands with him. We got to the entrance to do the final preparation to enter into the forest, but hey, it's not for free. What you are told is for you to have this experience with the gorillas, how much is it? 800 dollars. 800 US dollars. journey is gonna begin so there are different groups of gorillas and every gorilla got its own destination I mean where you can find them so yeah this is where we're gonna start our home from as you can see the car behind us yeah like I said we drove one hour today and um, I love the fact that um, this whole gorilla trekking has created some kind of employment for the locals as you can see 
uh, they are more of, um, what do you call it, porters. I think when I went to Kilimanjaro, I had porters with me. Hi. Hi. Uh, so these are the local porters, eh? Yeah. yeah. OK, um, how do I say hello? Agandi. Agandi. Yeah. So are they Wait, they, they're gonna go with us or something? Uh, if you don't need them, they go. If you need them, they go because they hired. Okay, so it's yeah, like so they, they go with you if you have a, a, a backpack. Oh, then they can give to the hand where you need them. I didn't carry anything. Uh, I, I, so, <laughs> so you may not need. Oh, no. you may need if you want to support them. You might. If you don't want. Your, your money is finished. Once we hire them, one is hired at the minimum of 20 USD. 20 USD? That's equivalent to about 70. You have my wallet. Nah, you let me give them dollars. I have only this one. The oh, rest is Switzerland. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't have anything here. Okay. You know, like, um, this is Swiss franc. You don't have a... I don't know, um, I'm so sorry, but I know you guys can keep this. Yeah. This one, they don't, you can't change it. So, so yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I, I wish I had things so that I can carry you all along, but I, this is all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's tough, man. You see, how can I struggle just to go and see my own cousins? <laughs> my brothers and sisters hiding in the woods, man, in the rainforest. They decided to go up on the mountain. But I love them so much, and I'll definitely do this for them. Come along with me. Let's go meet our brothers, man. I've been walking through the community area, but now what you see here is the park boundary. You see some plants we are putting to put out the Mauritius. These are thorny plants, Whoa. and they make a good fence. It's one of the problem animal intervention strategy. So that when they have grown up, then they will make a thick fence. So this is a thick forest, right? This is a thick forest. Now but this is the impenetrable forest. The community are allowed to enter? No. They are not allowed unless they seek permission and for what reasons. But they are not allowed to enter without any uh, communication or any permission. Okay. All right. As you guys can see, this is the borderline. So this is like Togo and Benin. So right now we are entering the Benin forest. There's a borderline. The tracking team already have the gorillas, they have already located them. Okay. And from here they are telling us that in about 15-20 minutes we should be getting close to them. I'm excited to see my cousins, man. Did they like noise people like you? Oh, be quiet. <laughs> oh my goodness. For the first time I have to be quiet. I've never been quiet since I was born. I'm the most annoying guy on earth. <laughs> One of the things that I know that Africans have in common is the way we do things, right? So if I'm in my farm and I want to make sure to let the other person in his farm to know that I'm around, I'm just going to shout, Ooh! right? You see, they responded to me, meaning that they're just ahead of us. So we need to walk and go and meet them because they've already tracked where the gorillas are. It's like that in Ghana. And it's so beautiful to see that it's exactly the same in Uganda, which means Africans are the same people. It's time for us to love ourselves. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. Come along with me. Let's go. Oh. 
see. Oh my god, no, that's a gorilla. Yes. You see that? That's it, that's it. <laughs> so we are we shall we are right close to the gorillas here. What we shall do, we'll give us the open sticks, let's scare away the gorillas. Mm -hmm. Shall get them back after. Okay. Then you will get your cameras ready, make sure the flash is off. If a gorilla comes close to you or charges you, don't run. Don't run, you just stand. Just stay still mm -hmm. where you are. What? We shall put on our face masks. Oh my god. Yeah. The open sticks give me those. Those are on call. They are so huge. I don't know if you guys can see them. The gorillas are on top of the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, being here for one hour is one of the greatest privileges in life, man. I mean, spending time with gorillas, man. Oh my goodness, I, I never knew I would ever have such an experience. I mean, sitting down peacefully having a conversation with a gorilla it's one of the best thing i've ever done in my entire life you know what i asked him hey dude have you eaten he was like maya did you bring me any food i was like dude i, I, I brought you some like food. maya put a video about us from the internet educate people about us and that's what i'm gonna do i love this experience and i hope you will also come here and experience it you know what believe me or not africa is the red heaven on earth come and enjoy the motherland and believe me you will never disappoint it uganda is a hidden game western uganda is one of the places that i never imagined to be this beautiful i want to tell you all welcome to uganda welcome to the pearl of africa <laughs>